Good morning, Screwball here. Day two, about 7.30 a.m. Getting a really early start. Uh, gonna try to make it all the way in the Gooch Gap today. Didn't get too bad cold last night. Probably mid 30s. So, uh, we're gonna head on up the mountain. Get there pretty early this evening. So, uh, I'll let you know if anything else goes on down the trail. Starting off this morning in some rocks. Pickle bottom went out ahead of us. Well, there he is. Not too far ahead of us. Camper right behind me. Yeah, it's a little overcast right now, but I think it's going to burn off, maybe. I got a pretty neat little old tree. Walk down there so we can get a comparison on how big it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna stand by it. <clears throat> Big old hollow tree. Uh, I don't know if you can tell how big it is with me standing here. So I'm gonna make one of the other guys walk down here and stand by it. Stay right there. All right, this is okay. camper walking down there. So you can see how big the tree actually is. On the backside of uh, Hawk Mountain. So I'm not sure which one of these we're heading up <laughs> from here. I think it's going to be this one out here in front of us. You can see camp over our video and also. I can hear some people down at uh, Hawk Mountain Shelter. It's just down the trail right there. We didn't go by yet. We stayed on the main trail. <laughs> That's looking level. That's Arkansas in front of us. Phil from Arkansas. We call him Arkansas. You can see how much drop offs on this. But uh, I don't know if I can zoom in on these rocks on the side of this hill here. They're really good looking rock formations up on that hill. You hear the plane going over here. All right. Doesn't do it justice looking through this camera. We just came off that mountain, Hawk Mountain. Now we're some big, pretty hardwood timber on top of a ridge now. Uh, tower gaps where we just crossed over. We're gonna go and drop down this backside of this hill. Still a little foggy this morning, so the views aren't the best. I made it up here. I'm waiting on the other guys. They're just trying to come on up this hill. I don't know where they're at. But uh, that's what I'm looking at this morning. Yeah, they finally caught up, so we're gonna move on up a little bit. Here's a small little overlook. Here's what it's all about. Yeah. 
All right, we're heading down here. Just to go right back up, sassy France. Got to go down to go up. All right, we just started up Sassafras. So, you can see behind me, that's Arkansas coming up behind me. And you got, we picked up, or he picked up us, however you want to say it, this morning. Uh, this uh, Sassafras is supposed to be the hard climb of the day. So once we get it knocked out, I believe it's gonna be a lot easier I'm downhill pretty much. The rest of the day so i get some more pictures when i can get up there you can see the view behind me and then i turn around and it's a, well you can't see the top because of that little rise right there but i get back with you when we get on top Oh well, we're in, I ain't going very far, but look at this rock outcropping right here. Well, I don't know how high up I am on it. No, I'm not near the top, but got some good views right here. Not quite made it to the top. It's a little overlook. Yeah, that's me breathing. Hopefully that's the top, unless it's a false top. I'll let you know here in a little bit. All right, we finally made it up the top of Sassafras. It's about 11.15. Uh, views aren't that great. We had better views as we was coming up the mountain. But, uh, I'll spin it around and let you see the views here. We're still waiting on the other guys. Me and Arkansas is up here, but we're still waiting on the rest of the crew to get back up here. Yeah, you round the curve and then you get more views. So, uh, we got about four more miles to Gooch Gap. That's where we're headed tonight. I uh, think fresh ground's supposed to be over there serving spaghetti. So, we'll have a good hot meal tonight. Uh, some steep hills right here, but some big, pretty hardwood timber on it. And I've seen quite a few. Beautiful rock outcroppings. I just haven't taken very many pictures. Yeah, it's starting to get some buds on these trees. So, a couple more weeks, they'll be budded out. But uh, Arkansas was ahead of me. Camper pickle balls back behind me. Uh, there's been about four other through hikers up in front of us that have passed us today. We passed them, they passed us. Just we stopped and ate lunch, and they went by us. So we'll probably catch up with them when they decide to eat lunch. Uh, one guy from Texas, and uh, the other three really, I think they're section hikers, they may not be through hikers, but 
That's what's going on at the moment. Sun still hasn't came out, which some of the forecast said it would, some of it didn't. Temperature's not warmed up that much. All right, we've done drop down off the mountain, as you can tell. Up underneath all these. Little trees. Oh, you can hear a creek down underneath there running. We're just a creek and the rocks are underwater, so. Arkansas is going to walk across this log. There's the rocks with a lot of water coming through. So I'm going to go across that log too. We don't have a foot log on this one. Oh, here we go. You want to go first? It's cold, but it feels good on the feet. If they're not turning red, it's so cold. It'll be turning blue for long. Right, uh, Gooch Gap, we done 9.5 miles today. We're going to call it a night here. Uh, Fresh ground said he's gonna to try to be here tonight, but evidently we've either missed him or he's not here yet. But that's okay. Uh, we're gonna find us somewhere and pitch a tent. I'll get back with you later on with a uh, end of the day wrap up. All right, screwball here. Uh, day two wrap up. We left um, Hawk Mountain Campground um, about 7.30 this morning and made our way to um, Gooch Gap, where we stopped at nine and a half miles. I'm not sure what time we got here. Pretty slow day, um, but it got in camp, set up, ate dinner, uh, sit around, talked a little while, they stay out there talking. Uh, tomorrow we're going to try to get up, uh, Hustle over to Woody, uh, Woody Gap. Maybe Fresh Ground will still be there. And get some breakfast, some pancakes. Um, but if not, you know, we'll try it next time. But uh, weather's been good. It's a little cloudy today. Didn't warm up as much as they thought it was going to. But um, tomorrow's also supposed to be warm. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be cloudy. It's supposed to be warm. No chance of rain until um, late tomorrow night. So... Everything's looking good, and um, equipment, everything's doing good right now. So uh, I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, I'll uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks.